Hello, I'm Ganesh Nakwa, Head of Product Management at Acurex, and I'm going to show you how Acurex and GitLab SaaS integration enables developers to mitigate the security risk throughout the development cycle. Acurex mission is to enable cloud resilience with the developer-first approach to the security. We have seen different security breaches in the past. You may have a CSPM tool that gives you protection from runtime environment and DevOps or SecOp team may be using SaaS, DAS, or SCA tools, right? If the application running in the production or runtime which has vulnerability, infrastructure team may not have visibility into that vulnerability and even application security team may not know the impact of that vulnerability in runtime environment. Just look at this example here, we have SSRF vulnerability, but because of this vulnerability, hacker can exploit additional resources within your infrastructure. It can be misconfigured compute resource or overly permissive IAM or RBAC policy, uh, and they can find unencrypted database to exfiltrate very important data of uh, your environment. In order to solve this use case, we are empowering developers to mitigate this risk during development cycle by consuming this SaaS results and stitching these results along with IAC together to give you a holistic picture on how your threat environment look like from deployment perspective. So let's look at like how GitLab SaaS integration works. As a developer, you write application, you create a Docker container, you write him chart code, and you deploy your build into runtime environment, whether it's a Kubernetes cluster or any other environment. So when you write application, the GitLab SaaS tool can help you to find application vulnerabilities, and that information will pass on to Acurex, where Acurex simultaneously scan infrastructure as a code for any security violation. Based on this two information, SAS information and IAC violation information, we can create a policy where we can break the bill based on high level of application vulnerabilities or IAC security violations. Right? Once your build is good, you can deploy that build in your runtime environment and Acurex will help you to continuously assess your runtime environment as well. So with this integration, developers can mitigate their security risks within the development cycle so that their cost of remediation is very low. So as I mentioned earlier, right, with this joint solution, we can detect uh, risk during development cycle. We can block the build in the pipeline and we can reduce the remediation cost. We can enforce policies in runtime and we can prevent the risky deployment. We, we will continually uh, assess the risk in runtime for any risky uh, uh, deployment. So today, we uh, I'm gonna show demo for two use cases. The first one is, uh, SaaS policy enforcement for application Docker files. So admin can select policy from Acurex to enforce uh, application Docker file for SaaS vulnerabilities. And policies can be based on CWE or CVE, uh, best practices for application. And we will enforce those policy in GitLab pipeline itself to mitigate the zero day vulnerability for Docker files. And the second use case is IAC policy enforcement for HEM or customize or YAML file, where admin can select policy from Acurex and they can enforce uh, you know, HEM or Kubernetes or YAML for IAC security violations. So let me show you uh, GitLab console here. As you can see, uh, GitLab console here we have uh, created a simple Node.js uh, application. If I click in Node.js, this is very simple uh, application with hello world. And we have created Docker, uh, Docker file as well, which has a reference to this application. So I have two repository. One is uh, uh, application level repository, 
And the second repository I have is with is with a deployment. So uh, whatever the application I want to deploy in my runtime, um, so we have created app YAML file, which has a reference for uh, that specific uh, application. Uh, and also we have a YAML file where we added additional stage. So earlier it was test and deploy. Now we added policy evaluation additional state where based on policies, we can make decision to break the bid, right? Same thing for application level uh, vulnerabilities as well, where in CI CD uh, pipeline, you can see I have a failed pipeline where, you know, I have four stages, build, test, and policy evaluation and deploy. So if I find any security violation or uh, any application level of uh, vulnerabilities, then based on severity, based on top 25 CWE or CVE information, I can take action to break the build before that vulnerable build goes to the runtime environment. So if I click here, it will show me the build has failed because of, uh, you know, we have detected like, uh, top 25 CWE cross-site scripting uh, vulnerability. And because of that, we um, uh, avoid that build to go in a runtime environment. So uh, we can also see in security tab, what type of vulnerability it is, right? It will give all information about uh, cross-site sc uh, scripting with uh, CWE number, which is 79, right? It shows that detail. So we have created automated policies where policies can enforce from uh, Acrex and then we can take action, automated action in GitLab pipeline itself. So now we can take action based on application vulnerability as well as ISC security violation, right? So we can provide end-to-end -end contacts to developers so that they can uh, uh, make a decision to uh, break the build. Now I'll show you how to configure GitLab uh, integration from Acurex console. It's very easy to configure. Um, so if I go uh, GitLab SaaS environment, so this is a Git, uh, this is Acurex console where uh, I have created environment. And if I edit environment, you can see here, I have two repos. One is application repo, which is uh, sample Node.js, and second one is for Kubernetes. And if I click Next, I can assign a policy pack, which we develop, uh, one for best practices for Kubernetes and one for application. Based on that, we can find security violation or application vulnerabilities, and we can take enforcement action for that specific violation. If I come out from that, I'll show you quickly the policies. As I mentioned, we have we have added like application policy. So we have defined top 25 CWE that, that are known. And based on that, you can take action. Same thing, we added like 10, top 10 CVE, and then we can take action based on top 10 CVE information. If you go resources, it will show you we have detected GitLab vulnerability as well as we have detected ISC uh, security violation also. So in GitLab vulnerability, as you see, uh, it is uh, associated with cross-site scripting. And uh, in uh, Kubernetes deployment, we have around 12 violation. And based on those high severity violation, we can take action to break the build. You can also create your own policies based on um, you know, different rules. Like for example, if I want to add rule and this is based on a regular editor, very easy to configure. Um, you know, if I want to add um, say uh, one extra rule to detect like this vulnerability, um, uh, CW vulnerability, I can write the code where my code I can paste it here in rule template. 
and I can modify the CW number here to 79 so that I can detect or I can first test that uh, rule whether it's working or not and here you can see I have detected a violation so my rule has passed I have detected violation and here I can give a vulnerability title a remediation steps and so on and so forth right that way you can save this rule and you can apply in production so you have a lot of flexibility where you can have custom rules to to uh, uh, make sure like you know uh, you take action on those specific vulnerabilities so that is from um, the demo perspective and if you want more information um, you can visit uh, GitLab SaaS integration. Uh, uh, here's the link. And um, if you want to learn more about additional capability that Acurex can uh, provide, um, you can go to acurex.com and you can learn more about Acurex. Thank you.